Hi, my name is Boris and in this video I'm going to show you how to correctly use reference tracks when mixing and mastering. We're going to be creating an A-B to toggle between our mix and our reference and so that the reference is not affected by our master chain but goes directly to the output. Let me quickly show you how it works and we'll get into it. Before we get into the details, I just wanted to let you know that if you're new here on this channel, we explore the techniques and tools that help us make better music, be more productive and intentional when producing. If you like what we're doing, consider subscribing for more tips like this one. We've got a lot coming up. This Melodic Deep project file we're working on is called Greed and it's available in the link in the description. Right, so this technique is simple but quite essential to properly master tracks. Basically, we're assigning a keyboard shortcut that is soloing our track. At the same time, we are passing this track not through our master chain, which is what would a normal track do, but we're going directly to the external output. So let me quickly show you how it looks by default. If you add an audio track into Ableton Live, let me just add an audio track. By default, it goes into the master. All you need to do to bypass the master chain with this one, first of all, you need to uh, have the ins and outs enabled with this little button and you need to choose the output as not the master, but the external output. This is going to output the audio uh, straight to your headphones or into your audio interface. Now, next thing we want to do uh, is actually assign a keystroke to soloing this track. When we solo, we obviously disable the playback of the track. We're only playing the reference. All we need to do is just go to key and we can assign a keystroke. For example, I have something assigned over here. We can, for example, uh, assign the dot button to the solo. All we need to do is just press the solo button, press the dot and it's going to assign it automatically. Now we can go out of this mode. Basically our dot now toggles between our reference and our track that we're producing. And it's quite important to do that because if you are listening to a reference track through your mastering chain, well, you're not really referencing because you are obviously modifying all the parameters of your track. You are modifying the EQ curve here. The compression would completely uh, be broken. So this is a very simple technique to avoid it. And you can actually set it up for more tracks. And if I dragged another one here, I could easily map it to another keystroke. For example, here I have successfully successfully made another keystroke like this one toggling in and out of my audio track number 40. And this is a very simple thing. Thank you guys very much for watching. That's all for today. It's a very quick tip. Consider checking out our music production academy, especially our start to finish courses. Subscribe, hit the notification bell and comment if you liked it. I will see you in the next videos. If you find these type of videos helpful, we can highly recommend the PML Academy with over 35 full-length online courses spreading over topics like writing chords and melodies or arranging your songs to producing entire songs from start to finish. So check out the link in the description to see what's inside the All Courses Bundle exactly.